Hey guys, this is Paulina and this is a video on the second conditional. It's going to be similar to the first video, so if you need some help, maybe watch the previous one. Otherwise, I hope you're ready. We're going to start. I am absolutely sure you remember that we start every conditional sentence with if and after if we use a past tense. Most often it's past simple. After that we use a... Yes, you're right! We use a comma and then in the main clause we use would followed by bare infinitive which means verb with no to and no ing ending. We use the second conditional to talk about the results of an action or situation. First of all, that probably won't happen now or in the future. You would be healthier if you took some exercise. And that we know will not happen now or in the future. If I won an Olympic gold medal, I'd be famous. But I'm sure you know that for me, that's absolutely impossible. We can also use the second conditional to give advice. If I were you, you, I'd take up a sport. This looks very nice in your writing, especially part three, when you write a letter to your friend. Also, bear in mind that we can use could or might in the main clause instead of would. Jack could win the tournament if he trained harder. If you left now, you might be on time for the match. I hope so far so good. If you need, pause the video and look at these examples one more time. A tricky word which is often used and appears on Cambridge Pet Exam is unless. We can use unless in first and second conditional sentences. It means the same as if not. For example, Lucy won't be happy unless she gets chosen for the netball team. And it means Lucy won't be happy if she doesn't get chosen for the netball team. And one more example, Mr. Martins couldn't go to the match unless he had a ticket. And it means Mr. Martins couldn't go to the match if he didn't have a ticket. Please now have a quick look at exercises from your book. They're all on page 70... 70... Paulina doesn't remember... 77. So please open your books on page 77. Look at the blue part. In exercise A, read the sentences and decide what tense is used with if. And I'm sure you all know very well that here we are using past simple. In second conditional sentences, we always use a past tense after if. Now please match the sentences from exercise A with their uses in the exercise B. And I hope you already know that we use the second conditional for things we know will not happen now or in the future, which is shown in example two, to give advice, which is shown in sentence three, and for things that probably won't happen now or in the future, just like in exercise one. And the last exercise from your book, exercise C, Please read the sentences and answer the questions. What other words can we use instead of would? And what word can we use that means the same as if not? And if you paid attention, I'm sure you know that we can use could 
instead of would, and instead of if not, we can use unless. And this is the end of this video. Thank you very much for your attention. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me during the next lesson. To make this video, I've used materials from the grammar reference from Close Up B1 Second Edition by Sengage Learning and some grammar exercises from Close Up B1 Second Edition by Sengage Learning. Bye!